Welcome to Haunted Planet. Our team of explorers, researchers and investigators are on a mission to uncover the mystery and history behind some of the stories of the most terrifying and haunted locations in the world. In this, our first series, we'll be going in search of the ghouls, ghosts and phantoms that inhabit Birkwood Castle, which is in the heart of Scotland. Good evening, I am Stuart Lawson. And I'm Grace Francis. Together we'll be taking you through some of the scariest and sometimes terrifying locations around Scotland. And we're starting here at the historic Birkwood Castle for seven nights. Each night we'll be exploring the castle and its grounds for any supernatural interaction. And joining us on our nightly searches are the Glasgow Paranormal Investigators and also a fantastic list of celebrity guests. Indeed. We're very excited to be joined by the GPI, a real team of ghost hunters using their specialised equipment to help us and the rest of the team record and interact with supernatural activities. Each of our celebrity guests will be joining us on a full night of investigation. Let's hope they don't scare easily. But this is all in support of the Lanarkshire Association of Mental Health. Of course, because this is an all in aid of discovery and charity. LAMH provide quality community-based services in the Lanarkshire area. And to nate and help these amazing people with the fantastic work they do, please visit their website, which is lamh.org.uk, and give whatever you can. But if you feel you want to do more, there are plenty of ways to be able to help and fundraise. Contact details will show up on your screen at the end of the show, or you can go to hauntedplanet.org. Our first guest tonight will be the fantastic Jack Martin and Stuart Mitchell. Let's meet them. Hi, welcome. Jack Martin and Stuart Mitchell. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. It's a great pleasure to be here. It's great. So far. You've seen that at the end of the night. No, actually, it's good to be saying that right now. Because it's all, things have already got spooky. We carry on. We carry on. It's their own. There's so much that's going to happen like, I mean, we've only just really scratched the surface of it tonight, which is fantastic. Um, so, Jack, tell us a little bit more of what you've been up to recently. Um, I've, well, I do a bit of acting when I'm allowed. Um, people might know me from the cops. Uh, yeah. The series, and uh, a couple of films, and then Heartbeat was another big one for ITV. Mm. And then uh, I found myself doing some uh, celebrity cooking on a couple of shows. Really? <laughs> 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 Uh, I've not killed anybody, so we're all right. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm on the upside, so that's okay. But yeah, things things are okay. And then it was nice to get invited down to uh, to, to be part of uh, the 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 ghost hunting really at Burkwood. That's a beautiful castle. Oh, so it's amazing. fantastic. It's as soon as you approach this castle, you just see the outside. It yeah. just takes your breath away. And the inside is just something just even more. I mean, it's. Bit amazing, just the atmosphere that we've got here as well. Well, it's, it is grand in every sense. Yes. And then um, we, we've arrived and even before we've finished setting up things and being going on, but <laughs> we're, we're all right. We're soldier on. We're soldier on. <laughs> and Stuart, what, what have you been up to recently? Because you are a comic as well? Yeah, I'm a stand up comedian. I've been going about three years, so it's great to get this opportunity. And like Jack mentioned, the cops being from Glasgow. I'm I'm normally getting chased by the cops, <laughs> so, uh, so it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's nice, it's nice to be given this opportunity to hopefully find some sort of ghosts. And I think I'm a bit pessimistic about the whole thing, so it'll be interesting to see how it, how it goes. I think that's good because one of the things that we obviously want to do in the show is we want to give a complete, honest account of what happens and stuff. You know, and one of the things that I did say to you guys, if nothing happens, and we've got to be honest, but We've already started. He did. 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 He did
if that's what happens, that's what happens. <laughs> Actually, hopefully, we won't have any of that tonight. I'd be just, you know, maybe a few, few instances of all the other bit scared and stuff, but I don't know, we'll just say again. I mean, what, what are your kind of feelings of just like paranormal? Have you had any paranormal experiences before or had a joke? Well, I, I was telling you students before, I had a, yeah. I had a, when you're a kid, you mess about with these things, don't you? And mm. I had a bit of a scenario, I was 10 years old, I was in a friend's house, and we got, we made a homemade Ouija board. I know, I know, some of the, some of, some of your team, some of your team, your experts, as soon as I said that, they would, and I was like, you know, you're 10, but what can you do? And I, to be honest, I was messing about with it. And then, um, in a rather dramatic way, I kind of cleared everything off the table. And I said, oh, it's not working, it's not working. 10 years old, very theatrical, even then. And, um, and, I, and I was kind of putting the table back together, and it kind of started to move on its own, and it caused a big commotion in the house. <laughs> and um, the dad came up and just chopped up the table with an axe, so it's all right. I'm not expecting that to happen. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's natural, right? Yeah, yeah of course. It's not every 10 year old done that. No, that's it. Was it just me? We could probably find a few. What? So, you know, yeah, maybe I'm tuned into it. Or, but I'm, I'm like you, though. I am a bit. I'm, I'm, uh, uh, the, the classical notion of ghosts and spirits, I don't know. But the idea of is there another life or is there a, a, another existential existence? Who yeah. knows? Because we are energy, and energy never diminishes. Yeah. That's right. Coming from the west of Scotland, I'm very used to playing glass Ouija boards. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So <laughs> we, we, we might, we might be, we might, we might find a dark corner of the room and just crack yeah. on. But, but after obviously. everyone's gone. You know, <laughs> but, in all, se in all seriousness, uh, probably when about three years ago, I came, I thought I saw a ghost in a friend's house. I was staying over there, they've got kids, and I was having a shower in their bathroom, and I'm sure I saw something. <laughs> I'm sure I saw something, and I didn't want to say anything to them because obviously I thought I would scare them. So, but that was just like, I don't know if maybe I was a wee bit humble or what was going on with that. So, you can go first then in the room. Yeah. You can be, you can be the forward. I'll first. Well, I'll, 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 I'll. I think we'll put you forward. You seem to have a nice sort of confidence in, in dealing with ghosts and games. He, he deals with a lot of spirits. <laughs> I do. I being do. a glass of right? <laughs> <laughs> are, they, are they a bit more fluid than the ones we'll have? Yeah, they will be. But things, are, things have already been interesting, so we've not even started yet. I mean, I've, I mean, I know we're going to be going over some of the things we're going doing a proper investigation later, but Please tell us some of the things that you've just literally experienced just now as well. Well, I mean, we're here to, we're here to see what kind of happens tonight. And you rightly said at the very beginning, look, what we want is honesty. If nothing happens, nothing happens. Because we, we can't expect it to be, to be delivered um, on demand. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if it was delivered when we were all set up. <laughs> because we were just talking in, in the rooms and you've got your cameras. And um, I was just looking at them. and. They're so sensitive, even you've got sort of it looks like snow, it's actually just the dust, isn't it? That's right, yeah. past. But they're so powerful, they just pick it up the dust, it looks like a blizzard. And um, I was telling James, who's one of your experts, he's over there in the corner, about, about my story as a 10 year old, really. And, and, and I was midway through, and I was being very dramatic, and I was just getting to the punchline. And I was looking at the screens where the cameras are set up, and then there was, well, let's just say an incident happened and we'll leave you to tell people what happened. I think we'll look over the other bit later and stuff, but that's okay. really, that's amazing that you guys have already had that kind of experience. And we've not even started. I don't know, we haven't even got around to this, it's all pretty fantastic. So, what sort of things really sort of scare you? I think for me, probably spiders. Yeah? Yeah, this one, I don't know if there'll be any spiders. Go or just spiders. Yeah. Or just spiders. <laughs> I think we might find a bit of a mix. Mm -hmm. That's probably the most. Um, what's what? what what's, yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what scares me. We were talking before. I, I believe people literally fall into two camps: the right, mm -hmm. good people, or the bad people. So if you're accepting that there is a, a transcendental. Ex 
existence, I wouldn't want to meet a bad person on that side, like a malevolent spirit, if you will. I don't think that would be a, a, a nice experience. So North Korea scares me as well. <laughs> We're a little bit far from this, you um, should be alright. And the only way is Essex. That's actually a bit short of that one. Oh, and they all so coming up to sadly yeah. under the cast oh, yeah. oh shit, that would be fantastic. I'd be really scared. That'd be true. That'd be a massive thing. <laughs> so, are we, um, are we heading off on a, a bit of, are you going to be leading us on a guided tour? We are, and the GPI. Yeah. Yes, yeah, there they are. Well, yeah. it was James I was talking to from the GPI. GPI. Um, and <laughs> We just looked at the screen and it was like, they've got the cameras already set up, obviously. I'm like, um, anyway, I'm not going to let them. No, no, that's cool. I mean, what is we'll that do, meant to be happening? <laughs> <laughs> what we'll do with you guys is we'll basically go and join the GPI. And good thing that you've actually met them as well first. Um, we'll go around with them and we'll just investigate some of the things that we have experienced already. Maybe we'll pick something up as well. But thank you very much, guys, for giving us no, a bit of time. Just got we've, we've, got a, we've got a long and interesting time. Right. But I got one. That's how we survive it. it. <laughs> and we'll, defi we'll definitely have another word with you guys a bit later as well. Excellent. Great, cool. thank you. Thank you for being here. Thanks. <laughs> right then, guys, here we are. We're starting our investigation. So far, of course, we've had quite a lot of stuff going on already, and all we're going to do is just go around and just see if we can actually find something else. Excellent that we're splitting into two teams and we should be able to cover quite a lot of sort of footage today as well and also cover quite a bit of ground. Please go slow guys, don't rush, I don't want any accidents, I just want to make sure that we're all looking after each other, we're taking care, we know where each other are as well. We're in radio contact, if anything does happen and you're worried, please give us a call and we'll come to you. That'd be fine, just stay where you are and we'll come to you. Um, you've obviously got the site managers on site with you, so they will make sure that you guys are keeping within the boundaries that we've been asked to stay in. So that's cool. Anything that happens, stick with it. But guys, go out, just enjoy, have a chat. If something happens, then, well, let's hope it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so far, so good, so let's, let's keep it going. Great, guys. Cool. Cool. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just waiting for the... What's it called again, Natalie? It's a K2 meter. K2, and what does the K2 meter read? It is commonly known as an EMF reader as well. It picks up electromagnetic fields, which electricians sometimes use them. Mm -hmm. um, there's a theory that energies have... Sorry, that was really off putting that noise. Um, it's, there's a, feel, a theory that ghosts can give off an energy and this picks mm -hmm. up. So, like this green light here, like that just shows that it's an indicator that's on. And the more energy that goes towards it, it, it lights up even more. So, a minute ago when Stuart was holding it, it flashed red. What do you think that indicates? Uh, we can't be too sure. Uh, there's no electricity in the castle, so it wasn't electricity. But. We'd need it to keep happening on demand. And did everyone else hear a sound on the steps yeah. when I, that happened? It sounded like a scuffle on the stairs. Uh -huh. And everyone heard that? I, I heard it, and I think Stuart heard I it. I heard that too, yeah. Okay. It sounded like someone was scuffling up yeah. yeah. It was scuffling their feet. Then everyone asked. And this questions. was the same staircase that happened with the ball and the footsteps. Yes, yeah. this same is staircase. this is the staircase where Michael Schofield fell down the stairs and snapped his neck. Oh, absolutely. Did, did it just get cold? Yeah. Oh, it just got mm -hmm. really cold. <laughs> but this is the staircase where Michael Schofield died. Mm -hmm. Do you have this? And everyone felt that no. temperature drop. Yeah, it, it, you could feel it on the back of your mm -hmm. neck. Kit is away again. Did anyone ask any questions to the spirit? Try and get a. Is this nap? you, Michael? Is this you that's here? That's good. Hi, Michael. If that is you, we've, we've come to see you. My name's Natalie. My name's Lee. Melanie. Grace. Stuart. 
Hi, Billy. Michael, are you trying to find your ball? That's fantastic. And what's this big thing you've got here on yeah. the TV yeah. screen? This is basically a thermal imaging camera. Um, right. It's a camera, but it doesn't see through an ordinary lens like we would use on our mobile phones or our cameras. It basically picks up on heat signatures. Right. Blue is cold, red is hot. Simple as that. So if someone was to put their hand against the wall and then move the hand away from the wall, you'd be able to put this camera up. You would then see the handprint on the wall. And then from there, you'd be able to see there was possibly something here or there was something there. Or, or if somebody was to be messing about mm -hmm. moving things around, if they touched an item, absolutely, you'd yeah. record that, wouldn't you? You'd be able to see it because it would be shown on the item that, that, that they've pushed or thrown or yes. held. Or yes, exactly. So, so it's, a way of, it's, a, yeah, yeah. it's a way of stopping people sort of messing things absolutely. around. Absolutely. someone was to move any particular object, one of our trigger objects that we like to set, yeah. um, we can put the thermal imaging camera on that, we can see if there's anything else. Hand print or a hand print or fingers on it, and, yeah. which, which obviously then you'd want to investigate what, what's caused that, yes. whether it's somebody yes. trying to plant objects or mess about with things. Yeah. So, yeah. so how does it pick up anything that's, that's not left by heat signature? <coughs> so if we, are, if we are experiencing these energies, as you were saying, with the, with the meter, if that's picking up energies on that, would you be able to see those energies with the thermal camera as well? Or? It depends. Um, what basically, <clears throat> what previous investigators have found in the past, mm. for instance, there was um, there was an investigation done on um, one of the, it was, it was a boat, it was a ship, and uh, there used to be a swimming pool on the ship, and um, there, was, there, there was talk of a, a, a a spirit that used to walk around the uh, used to walk around the swimming pool, and then um, they could never they could never find any evidence of it. There was no water or anything like that. But what they did used to do uh, was they used to bring a thermal imaging camera, and they were then able to see the heat signature or the trace that was left around the swimming pool by the spirit that was uh, that that was left by them walking around. Because as as I said, spirits are made up of energy, mm. and heat is energy. So would the can you identify which different sort of heat signatures you get from just you know someone who just is generally just walking around from their body heat to the difference with no unfortunately no right. um, well <clears throat> if you were to get someone who was walking around in their bare feet for instance um, in any in any area um, it would probably be red because be, simply because of the heat. Um, what seems to be the norm with <laughs> the norm, what seems to be the norm with thermal imaging cameras in, in, in regards to catching any kind of paranormal activity is that the heat signature is generally blue, which wow. is cold, which is which is quite weird in itself. Which is the opposite of what yeah. you would normally expect. It absolutely, to be. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you put again, you, you put your, your hand up on the wall or any kind of an object, you put the thermal imaging camera on it, it's generally red or orange or an orange tint. Just think of it like a drawing, can you change the colour? That's it. Thank, Thank you, you Thank Michael. You. Can you change it again, Michael? Just make it go the red colour. Can you do that for us? What happens if you touch it? Just try touching it again. Are you scared by our presence here? We don't mean you any harm. We are just trying to communicate with you. Is there anything you want to tell us? You can, you can communicate with the lights, you can also communicate, there's a red light on the stairs, a dictaphone, you can speak into that if you want to, to speak any of your answers. Are you scared, Michael? Is it just you here or are there other people? Is there other people around here that you're scared of? Why can't you leave here? Yeah. 
Was that you we heard giggling earlier? Or were you crying? Are you upset? Did everyone even know it was dead? Like, there's a water coming in. I've heard tapping a few times. Stop this part now. Michael, is that tapping or dripping you? Is it you? Is it water? So right now, we're, we're in the main area of, of, of the building. And yeah. One of the main areas is obviously the staircase, so there'll yeah. be a lot of traffic. Oh. So, can we see that in action? If I hold on to the yeah. obviously freezing cold yep. um, handrail. Yes. And what would it look like when I Because, like we, I want to. For me, it's interesting to make contact with these buildings. Yeah. But especially so if, if you do it before you've done it. If we, if we just look at the yeah, back of okay, so just no, before you've done it. There's no, there's, you can see the dust as well. If we get the camera on, to show that I'm not. So be sick, just, we'll just stay. Uh, and there's nothing happening. I'll just move back well, a little bit. So it gives you a minute. I'm just yeah. going to move back. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Now go for it. I'm going to have a look with the camera, do you wanna, Marine, If you want to bring the camera up and show that I've not touched this either because it's covered in dust. Do you want to come over and just film the handrail? Okay, just saying, yeah. yeah. To show that I've not placed my hand anywhere on it. Yeah, so we can see there's plenty of dust on there, isn't there? Because I'm going to quite deliberately, and now I just think, sort of, see what happens when we make contact. Are you ready, James? Just checking that James is ready. James? I am ready, yep. yeah. So just hold on I'm, I'm thinking that there's been a lot of traffic up and down here, which might be a lot of energy, so... I'm just kind of looking to connect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got the camera watching this one, yeah. excuse me. Really? Yep. Okay. I'll do the count now. Yeah. Just so that if anything does happen once I've made contact, we'll know. Really? Yep, go for it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, we can just go a little bit closer and we'll show you. I've not even held on for that long. So there you go. So that's maybe what 30 seconds you've let go. Yeah. So if someone played any kind of a practical joke, you, you know, through something that. and they were holding on to the banister, that's 45 maybe seconds now. Yeah, but yeah about 45. You, you, there would be a trace. So that's quite clear and distinct as well. Absolutely. You can really see that. You on can the look camera. all the way up the banister. I know it is sometimes quite difficult. You seek. You can maybe just see the the windows and and the banister there. But again, coming all the way back down, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing, there is something clearly there. There you go. Yeah. So having given the phenomenon that we featured earlier on, the ball and what we thought was Michael, how does that rank on what you've seen previously? Uh, the ball is mind-blowing. You don't usually get that kind of evidence. Um, it's the kind of a one in ten chance of that happening. Mm -hmm. It's really good that the camera set up for that. Um, it's really exciting and it's just all going off. I hope that we get activity like that continued, to be honest. <laughs> Stuart, you were there um, in the room watching the CCTV when this phenomenon happened. You were the one that noticed <laughs> what we didn't see, we heard what we didn't see. Can you just explain what that felt like? It was just a wee bit strange, just and quite hard hitting, just turning around and seeing. I just saw the ball sort of hitting the last two steps and then rolling and it was just weird to see it's as if someone had just just had this meters gone again. Frog? Did anyone drop that? Was that anybody? Uh, I thought that was you. Yeah. Okay.
Sorry? Is there something funny? Yeah. That's all collapsing. Uh -huh. anyway. It's strange how there's a window open in here as well and it's not as cold as out in the corner. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite really chilly, it felt it really changing. It's, it's amazing that you, you have these kind of levels of technology where you can just, you know, identify these kind of things and it's just, it's so clear on, on that, just, just looking, you know, just over your shoulder and just seeing that, yeah. it just picks up so vibrantly, it's, it's something you just can't miss. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it, it, it's a piece of equipment that most paranormal investigators unfortunately just simply cannot afford and it's the one piece of kit that they should have. It's the one piece of kit that it's hard to fake. Mm. So if you do pick something up on the thermal imaging camera, it's incredibly difficult to fake. I mean, what sort of what sort of things? I mean, you you were saying about the the, the pool where they had the the footprints going around. What sort of things were you have you had where there's actually been? Have you had like a an actual figure that's appeared, like say, in the corridor, or you know, have you had that when you know there's no one else in the room and something's just? It's a good question. Um, unfortunately, no. Um, I think um, there was a recent study done, and I think it was about 89 to 90 percent of paranormal occurrences um, generally are smell. You smell most things, unfortunately. So picking anything up visually is incredibly rare. Right. Yeah, it's incredibly rare. So, unfortunately, we haven't had anything pass in front of the camera yet. Yeah. Yeah. So not yet, that's not yet. true. Not yet, so, I mean, as I say, um, with this kind of technology, um, if people do have night vision cameras and they are looking, you know, and CCTV cameras are set down corridors, for instance, um, I think at the, um, basically, sorry. I'm sorry, there's some, I'm sorry, sorry to disturb you, it's just me no, we were talking, I kept hearing the noise coming from the door behind you. Just some noise from me. Could you, could you <coughs> see if there's anything you can have on there? Should we just, just see yeah. if there's actually something on there? This door again? Oh, no, this. Oh, look, sorry, this. What's the See, that's a reflection of the window. That's a good thing. That's, that really um, petrified me then. I actually thought that was, that was something just, someone stood in the room, but that's, so it's that sensitive that absolutely. it will pick up a reflection of our body heat. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. I'll have a little look in the room. Just, you know, just, um, yeah, please camera. be careful because that yeah. is, um, that is signed off at the moment. Yeah, nothing on the floor. Nothing on the walls. See a reflection again? No, can't see anything. So there's nothing there's nothing we can we can get from this room of any thermal activity or anything. Like it that. doesn't seem like it, no, not a moment at it anyway. Let let's try this door and just see yeah. if there is something. I'm going, what, what, one of you knock the door, will you? Well, Jack, could you just have a I mean you've got you've you know, you've got a feeling for this place. Is there, is there anything now? Can you feel or? No, not that can really pour. Not yet. Um, I mean, just, I mean, if you, if you think there's, there might be like a noise from it, just, I'm just give it a. Or does this door? It's, it's jammed. Is it jammed? Yeah, yeah. the door doesn't actually open. Really? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, what, is there any way of getting into that? No, unfortunately not. It's been through that room and that's a good thing there, unfortunately. So that, yeah. that room did actually can't, can't walk into? Yeah, it's the only other access to yeah, that Yeah, I room. don't know if that actually leads around. We don't have been able to get through there. Um, so I don't know if that actually leads around. Yeah, that's the only other way to get through there. Yeah, that's the only other access to that room. Yeah, that's the only other access to that room. So that's been locked ever since you guys have been? Yeah. As is that one. Is, is there any way, I mean, if we... 
is there any way to communicate? I mean, we can't really do much. We just can't go into the room to see if there's any in there. But yeah. It might be worthwhile knocking the door and see if they knock it back to you. Shall we, shall we give that a go, just to see if there's something... Yeah, we can try that. The only thing I would say Oops. was that is that we can't see what's, what's causing it. But, yeah, we we'll would be there if we can try that. Do you want to go? Just give it a, just give it a knock, Jack, to see if we get a reply. Yeah. Give that a bit longer to respond, I think. Just um, just in case, just uh, just step back a little bit from the, from the door, just. Can you yes. Yeah, we we. Yeah, we go back to the side. Yeah. Right. One trick that we usually do. One trick we do do. Yeah. So the one trick that we do try is uh, we as it's exactly the same as knocking on this, but we basically we, we, we ask the spirit. Are you talking? Yeah, we're yeah, knocking. Yeah. So it's just the other team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was just. James has just shown what we'll do on an investigation. And one of the ones is to knock a wall and see if something will tap back at you. Like that. That's me! Back through it. You had some equipment set up here, actually on the stairs. Yeah. 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 So what's what? What is this going to show? The, this is basically one of four uh, CCTV monitoring cameras. There's a uh, 14 infrared LEDs on that. That although we can't see that at the moment uh, with our eyes, that whole entire staircase is completely illuminated by the. Uh, by the camera, so uh, anything walking up there, walking down there, anything, anything that walks across, we will see. That all goes back to um, a hard disk drive, and is a constant record. What, as I say, it's, it's one of four. So we are so monitoring one of one place. So you have all of that footage that is recording right now. Absolutely. I've, I've, so seen the, the, I've seen the screens of that. I mean, it's yeah. amazing how much of the line of the shot. It looks really dark now, yeah. but on the actual yeah. screens when yeah. you're looking at them. Yeah. You really do see the, the full stairwell. Yeah, as you picked up on earlier, and you, you, you were saying about the, um, the price of equipment, and these yeah. are incredibly expensive and very sensitive, as you were saying there. Because, Jack, what you were saying about, you noticed that the, like, even the dust was just, just going past and it looks so, it was just picking up. Yeah, when we, were, when we were even just setting up, you could see on the screen. And obviously, I got quite excited. Yeah. <laughs> Most people do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we have spirit straight away. Yes. Well, no, James, I don't know. That's, that's the, the sensitivity of the cameras just picks up any kind of the dust that's flowing, and it does look a bit like a blizzard, which is kind of it. But it shows the sensitivity of the cameras, I guess. Shall we move on to somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> For all of you that don't know, um, should we just go through the story of Michael Schofield? Does everyone know the story? The, the story of Michael Schofield, he used to come here in, so with his mother, who used to work here as a nurse. And she brought him here every day because she couldn't afford childcare. She was a single mother, which at the time was really, really bad. And he was playing at the top of the stairs and he dropped his ball down the stairs and he chased it and he slipped and snapped his neck on one of the steps as he came down. And a lot of the ghost stories has been to do with the fact that a ball has come down the stairs, or the sound of a ball. It was the first time I've ever, ever actually heard of an actual ball coming down the stairs. And the sound of child's footsteps chasing it down as if, you know, trying to catch it. Mm -hmm. And that's a story of Michael Schofield, who's actually buried locally in Les Mahigo, and we've actually got the plot number for where he's buried as well, and it says died in Birkwood. 
you know, if we've got these and we're walking away, but something that, like that happens. I mean, we've got that. Even if we miss it, when we look over the footage later, we'll actually have that and be able to have proof that something did. When you, when you combine the sensitivity of these cameras and the thermal imagery, yeah. which will have the heat yeah. footprint, if you will, on something, then, you know, I suppose it's evidence to make sure that, yeah, people aren't messing about, I guess. Yes. And when you switch the main cameras off, it'll just go yeah. fairly dark. It's very spooky. I think that's one of the things that we've got to be careful of as well, because the one thing that we want to do is be able to present that we are actually investigating this. If we don't see things, if we know people are mucking around, then we've got the evidence to go prove that they either are or they're not. And that's why. Absolutely. As I said before, just you know, kind of behind the scenes, it's incredibly, it's, it's so refreshing. To hear that kind of thing. I, that, I, that, that, that approach and that attitude is fantastic. I, I, I want to get halfway up. Yeah. I think we just need to ask our site manager that's if that's okay. okay. Um, sorry, we just, uh, we've had a request from our guest if they're allowed to just walk just a little bit up the, the stairs, if that's alright, just for now. Um, yeah, just, just stay just there. Is that okay? Don't actually go onto the landing. Right? That's, that's cool. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, just, just, um, just, just there, Jack. Please, that please don't go any like further. Upon reviewing the footage captured earlier that night, this is what we first saw. All four CCTV camera feeds were running, but we noticed the top left had a delay. When the other three stopped, the playback for the remaining feed speeds up. After recovering the footage, this is what we found. We then enhanced the image. What a night. A truly astounding experience. And remember, this is all in support of the Lanarkshire Association for Mental Health. Please donate whatever you can and go to their website at lamh.org.uk. Or you can find contact details at our website at hauntedplanet.org. A big thank you to our celebrity guests and the GPI team, Berkwood Castle, and from all of us at Haunted Planet, Good night. And remember, if you're alone at night and something stirs in the dark, leave a light on.